It was a 12 week programme. Four weeks um, had taught material and the remainder was the practical tasks. Now, to, co to come up with the idea of research, we really wanted to be wanted it to be student led. So we um, we went to road shows, we went to community meetings in the ward, we met with senior management, we did a lot of legwork um, in trying to get buy in for the course and to get a sense of enthusiasm, some ideas to generate ideas. And in the end, the um, we conducted a hospital vote and we listened to our service user um, opinions and what they wanted to research. Now, the topic that we arrived on is why do people come back into hospital? How can people get out of hospital faster and stay out of hospital for good? And this was entirely decided by our students in the course. And to add a further layer of interest, the students in our course only wanted to hear from people who had been discharged from hospital and subsequently gone back into hospital. So people who had the experience of discharge, community living and then back into hospital, because I think that that was that's quite an important subset of, of students. And we really wanted to. To approach the topic of research being quite focused in, in, in how to how to learn lessons, and I think that was that's that's important. So we um, we uh, took our ideas to the ethics board and um, the Rose Committee or the Research Outcome and Service Evaluation Committee. So we applied to them, we presented to them our ideas. Um, we then came up with some semi structured interview questions um, to go to our participants. We recruited the participants, we interviewed them um, only after uh, obtaining informed consent. So I think that that was um, that was really important to get the informed consent.